It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Netherlands. And this is a bottle of Brewery Pronk Nut Brown Ale at 8.3% ABV. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Look at the quality of that beer. And look at the bottle cap. There's a couple of things I want to talk about today. Um, I just read some news yesterday um, regarding Canada and their, their advice on alcohol. So if there's time, I want to touch on that in this review. But if the beer is that terrific that I spend the whole eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes talking about this nut brown ale, then so be it. Um, but... The attack on alcohol continues. Um, if it's not the BBC, it's Canada and, and their advice that people shouldn't drink more than like one or two beers a week. And if they can drink no alcohol at all, then that would be their best advice. And I'm thinking to myself, Canada's, Canada's a cold country, right? Anyway, I'll get to that in a moment. One finger, slightly off-white head, looks like a terrific... I mean, let's let's talk about this beer first. This is a good... Look at this. What a quality-looking beer. Look at the carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Fantastic quality-looking beer. Dark, deep... Deep, dark and brown. Not really any. Oh, there's little bits of sediment floating around in the bottom of the glass here. So it might be a bottle conditioned beer. Thank you very much to the wonderful sender in the Netherlands that sent me the beer. Uh, thank God you're not Canadian. Uh, let's quickly get this out and done and we might touch on it later on. But um, Canada was probably built on alcohol. And I mean that in, in a way that um, Canada was probably, I think a lot of it was built by the French. There's a lot of French speakers out there. Um, the French like to drink red wine and lots of beer. Um, you, I certainly couldn't go. Can you imagine going to Canada when like Newfoundland and all these, I don't know, I mean, New Zealand. But you, you can imagine going to all of these wonderful places but when they first chartered and found them and and they come across like freezing cold winters freezing cold winters with nothing to do uh, how are they going to get by you know when they're building these cities in canada building them and, and and building the infrastructure and building the railway lines and building the air and everything else that gets built to let us settle in a city or an area the first people who tried to do that were probably freezing cold and they probably needed a beer or a wine or just something in the night just to give them a bit, a bit of something to smile about, you know. And 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 now all of the cities are built in Canada, and and now all all that um, you know everything's hunky dory and their economy is doing fantastic. They they put out this advice that people shouldn't drink ten pints a week, twenty pints a week. They should drink just the bare minimum of two pints a week. And if they can avoid drinking those two pints a week, then so be it. Well, I got a message to the Canadian government, and that's this. Why don't they ever mention coffee? Why don't they ever mention coffee or tea? Because coffee or tea is just as bad for you as alcohol, and so is sugar, for that matter. Send your kids around the sweet shops. Sweet shops. Let them buy, let them buy bags and bags of sweets, you know, bags and bags of sugar. Yeah, well done, Canada. That's the way to go. That's the way to go, yeah. Um, so anyway, enough about Canada. Um, let's, let's, that was the news I read last night and it absolutely blooming infuriated me. It really did. I put 9,000 beers through my body. 9,000 beers. Can you imagine what the Canadian government, you know, they don't, they don't seek advice from people like me though, do they? They, they always use these doctors that have never drank a drop of alcohol in their life. These advisors, you know, go and speak to the real world people, the real world people who like my grandfather, he's 91 years of age and he's been drinking since he was 13 years old. 
what advice would the can can you imagine that the you know if I spoke to my grandfather now about this very subject the chuckle on his lap uh, uh, you know they're like oh yeah there we go yeah yeah well done well done yeah um uh, not not to drink any alcohol you might you might live to 150 there you go you might be in the wheelchair for the next 50 years of your life because because yes you've managed to eke your life out even more and you get to live to 150 rather than just 91 because you drank alcohol bonkers but they won't seek advice from people like me they won't seek advice from from the the the, the, the bbc and all these absolute terrible communication companies that they'll just seek advice from the professionals won't they anyway a rumor on this nut brown ale yes yeah, terrific absolutely terrific thank god i'm not canadian oh yeah nutty biscuity bready a little bit of chocolate malt in there Smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Roasty, toasty, biscuity, bready, nutty, chocolate malt coming through the body on the beer. The body is fantastic. Big, fat, creamy, rich, malty body. A little bit of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Oh, it's super. Absolutely super. Look as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at that carbonation chasing the head up, up the side of the glass. Look at that. As I'm rolling the beer around in the glass, look at the quality on this beer. Look at this. Wonderful. So creamy, so rich, so fantastic. I'm going to say it again. Thank God I'm not Canadian. There's probably some fantastic Canadian people out there that were just going to kind of like completely ignore the advice given by the government. Um, but it's just taxation. My, my fear is, is, that, is that regular people will just get taxed out of alcohol. Um, but what will happen then is we'll see a resurgence of moonshine won't we and we'll see a resurgence of like massive amounts of home brewing i mean they can't tax malt that much can they they can't tax hops yeah they certainly can't tax the water so people will just become fantastic home brewers and they'll probably brew a lot of beer at home rather than pay extortionate fees uh to the two pints a month canadian government You know, why, why don't the Canadian government seek advice from the Czech Republic or Germany where, you know, the Czech Republic drink more beer, more alcohol, more, more beer, I would say, than, than, than any other kind of country probably combined in the world. <laughs> they, they drink so much beer. And, and, and the average, check out the average age of a, of a Czech human being. And I bet it would surprise them. It would surprise the Canadian government, but this is just this is just taxation. This is just another way to put tax on alcohol. It's nothing else. The Canadian government don't care for its people. It don't care that the average man on the street drinks ten pints a week, or ten pints a month, or twenty pints a month, or the the advised two pints a month. It's just a way of taxing, screwing people over even more again. I'm sorry I brought this into this beer review. Um, 
for the people who know, for the people who enjoy and know nut brown ales, you get the nuttiness in here, definitely. Um, you'll know what I'm drinking. You'll understand what I'm drinking. It was just that I, I was so riled by that news yesterday that I just thought, and I don't really do it. I don't really, I give these people the time of day. But I, I've chosen to do this today because I'm really riled by it. I'm really like, ah, oh, here we go. Here's the next, here's the next tax, the, the next level of tax on beer. In Wales, we have a, where we live now, I, of course, I'm not Canadian. Um, I'm Welsh. We have a minimum alcohol pricing thing going on by our fantastic, terrific leader, Mr. Kim... Drakeford, um, we also have 50 mile an hour motorways, but that's another subject completely. Nanny state, isn't it? Nanny state gone mad. Um, anyway, this beer is terrific. It's really good. It's an imperial nut brown ale. Um, the alcohol level is quite balanced. Um, it's not overly done at 8.3% ABV. What I'm saying is you're not getting a real kick of alcohol. You get the nuttiness, the biscuitiness, biscuitiness the breadiness. It's got a really good mouthfeel. It's a terrific beer. And that's by Brewery Pronk. And it's their nut brown ale. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.